Staying in Riften, Traveler? Tell about it. I'm actually on my way out. Just have to buy a few things for the road. Buying and selling, buying From Grelka? You can't be serious. Well, usually the dumber they look, the cheaper their prices. Why? Why take a chance? But this one, she's not as cheap as she looks. <laughs> oh, where are you headed? Perhaps I can be of some help. Group bandits have been rumored to be ransoming children off over in Mistwatch. I thought it might be worth taking a look. Alright, let's go to Mistwatch. Thank you, Traveler. Even if we don't find the boy, it'll be worth the trip to clear that place of bandits. Yeah, I, if they're ransoming off children, that's... Probably one of the worst bandit groups that I've ever heard of in Skyrim, then. Usually they're much more straightforward. It's like, hey, give me your money. Hey, I'll kill you if you don't give me your money. Ransoming kids? That's a new low. So far, I don't see any bandits. Oh, nope, I, I see one right there. Hey, 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 hey. You put that away. You put that away. Unless you've come to pay a ransom, turn around and walk away. Okay, this is the right place. Perfect. Never should have come here. <laughs> you didn't even get to ask if I was gonna pay the ransom. What gives? Forgot to switch off from Dragon Rend. Sorry. Sorry, I know that does nothing to you. Let's go with Disarm. Disarm is just fun. Like, no, it's not deadly, but frankly, it's fun to see the weapons fly from their hands. To see them scutter and just be like, oh god, I gotta find my weapon. Uh, Frankly, it's just... It's my way of getting revenge. After That's all the draugers who have disarmed me longer. early on in the game. And god, that looked painful. Animal Lodge is taking the arrow right to the back of the head. Oh. Come on, is that all you've got? I love your spirit, Animal Lodge. You take an arrow to the back of the head and you don't even stop. Come on, you got her. You got her. You know what? I'm gonna help you out. If you don't kill her soon, I will disarm her and then I'll let you enjoy that. I can almost help you out. I'm almost there. There we go. Yeah, kill her, Animla! Show no mercy. Ah, she picked up another weapon. Never mind. I'm not enjoying this anymore. This ends now. Man, she picked up another weapon way too fast. I was waiting for Anamla to just cut her down. But that bandit was ready. And that's no fun for me. I also realize it's cruel and unusual, uh, killing unarmed enemies, but frankly... There's no Geneva Convention. Oh! Hello! You... Stendar's mercy, you aren't one of them. Please, you've got to help me. Oh, he's just the vanilla dude looking for his wife. It's my wife, Viola. I think she's being held in this tower. I've done this before. All right, you're... Uh-huh. You're staying here. Fuck, give me that key. Stendar's mercy, you aren't one of them. Please, it's my wife, Viola. I... Th I'm sorry. Viola, I heard a rumor. I managed to sneak past the guards and get... Thank you. I don't have much, but I can give you some coin for the trouble. One of the guards dropped this key while I hid. I wager it'll come in handy for you. Please hurry. That moment when your wife is uh, ransoming off uh, children, because... Man, she really didn't like being married to you. She liked being married to you so little, she became a bandit who ransomed off children. Let that sink in for a minute, sir. Think about that for a moment. Is someone there? Huh? Oh no, you tripped and dropped your weapons, dumbass. Oh, where did that fire come from? Ho, ho! Whoa, whoa, watch the fire! Guards usually say that to me, but I'm gonna say that to you. 
Hey, 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 watch the fire. Watch the fire. Man, these kids are not having a fun day. These kids are not having a fun time. Are the children in this tower? Hello? Is someone there? Maybe. Oh, the double disarm. Oh, he picked it up way too quickly. I didn't even get an animation for him picking anything up. It just immediately just popped it right back into his hands. Like a goddamn magic man. Is that it? I'll help you in a lot, don't worry. No one bests a No one bests a what? I'm sorry, I didn't catch the end of that. That's a dead woman. Where are you? Not a child, though. So, no, that's me. good. That's what you want, huh? Come on. Son Almost. And... Boom. Oh, who are you? Lattimore? Bratton. Nord. Woman. Too, too old. Too, too dark, too... None of these could possibly be him. Oh, oh okay. You, the Swamp Knight. What? It's a coincidence you showed up. I must be on the right track. Hold on one second. Let me just kill this bandit who you missed. Love your helmet, ma'am. Absolutely love it. I wish I wasn't killing you. But then I can take the helmet. Hold on, hold on. Lattimore, come back here. Introductions are in order. You know Anamla? Oh, come now. There's no need for that. We're both looking for the child, correct? The mute? That's right, an Imperial boy. Have you seen him? Not for some time. Which is why my memory of him is shaky at best. Thank the Divines, he's a mute. Or I'd never be able to identify him. Who is this boy? How do you know Anam La? Wait, is the boy dangerous? Did I miss that because the bandit was still alive? I've been on the boy's trail for some time, but I've always been a step behind. I just learned he was traveling with the Argonian when the Synod sent me to Hammerfell to investigate a separate matter. The Synod? I was hoping the Argonian would keep him safe until the other issue was settled. But things rarely go according to plan. Well, I was trying to get rid of him. What's your excuse? I'm not going to divulge our teaching methods. Besides, I doubt you'd understand them. Let's just say mistakes were made. Trust me, mage. When it comes to mistakes, that much I understand. Good. The point is, we've learned from them. There is no better place for the child to hone his talent than with the Synod. You mentioned this boy is dangerous? Well, I, I, I phrased that poorly. He's not dangerous right now, he's just a child, but he's dangerous because of his potential. If his mind were to be poisoned by necromancers, or worse yet, the College of Whispers. He could grow to be a highly unstable adult. Like most adults. Who is this boy? He's an urchin, from the Waterfront District in the Imperial City. We were alerted to his presence about five years ago. Or rather, he alerted us, when he accidentally burned down his home, and nearly half the district along with it. I mean, I've seen the Imperial City, I've seen the Waterfront District, it's very flammable. So the boy uses destruction magic. Was the fire intentional? Not according to those who found them. They tried to speak with the boy, but he was clearly traumatized. He hasn't spoken a word since. It's hard to blame him, considering his only family died in the flames. What does the Synod want with him? Well... For starters, we want him to stop from starting more fires. The most humane way to do this is to train him. 
Unfortunately, the boy prefers to isolate himself instead. He doesn't realize running away will only lead to further incidents. You'd think he would burn down his, uh, captors then. Are there any clues as to his whereabouts? Clues? Uh, yes. Come, take a look at this. In this hallway, we have bodies and blood. Where there's blood, there's bodies, and where there's bodies, well, you, you get the idea. Thank you, Lou. Thank you very much. Thank you for the circular logic. I don't know if I would have figured that one out in all my years of adventuring. But over here, we have blood, but no bodies. <gasps> Probably because they were taken. The cycle is so broken! what are we dealing with? Necromancers? Well, that or somebody from that damned College of Whispers. But most likely necromancers. Can't blame the college for everything. If they kidnap the boy, then we don't have much time. We need to find him. Don't worry. If they went to all this trouble to find the boy, I doubt they'd harm him. At least, not physically. Still, it's a bit unusual for necromancers to take an interest in anything other than the dead. What other possibilities are there? The most likely suspect would be someone from the College of Whispers. You in the College of but Whispers? there's no way those idiots would be this far ahead of us. You gotta get over your jealousy. Either way, at this point, I think we need to find out more about these rogue mages and what they plan to do. I know a Breton familiar with this sort of magic. Perhaps she can tell us what they're up to. Then mark it on my companion's map. Best you let him lead the way. Breton? Necromancers? Oh, Rift and Ratways. Oh, I was hoping it would be Jocelyn. I know she's not exactly talkative, I but... I warn you. The woman we're seeing has a rather short temper. Well, I've dealt with a lot of mages, and most of them don't get angry unless you start poking around their stuff. That's because our stuff is often volatile and shouldn't be handled by novices. But yes, try to be on your best behavior. I was hoping it would be Jocelyn. I mean, it still could be Breton Mage, although those are not exactly uh, uncommon. I was like, come on, Jocelyn's my, uh, my sister-in-law. Why haven't we hung out much? We need an adventure together. You, you think we would have, like, spent a little bit more time together, what maybe had dinner or something. What sort of did you make with the boy? The less you talk, the more suspicious it sounds. Ooh, ooh, go into it. Uh, oh, um, it was just a difference of opinion. Some felt he needed to be imprisoned. Others felt this would push him towards the darker magics. And what did your little group decide? Oddly enough, the boy preferred living in small, cramped spaces, so we let him stay in the dungeon. It wasn't until later that we realized it was his way of keeping everyone safe. Unfortunately, by agreeing to the child's desires, I'm afraid it only reinforced the idea that he was a monster. Let me guess, you're gonna blame the uh, College of Whispers for that dragon. Hey, sorry, didn't find your wife. I didn't exactly look. Oh, you should go up there. All the bandits are dead, definitely uh, you should go look for yourself. If a woman tries to kill you and she says uh, she's not your wife, she probably is, because she's probably the only woman bandit still alive up there. So, um, have fun with that. Son of a you good there? Oh, oh, you're gonna... You're also gonna kill me, aren't you? Oh, is he gonna take the axe? I've never seen anyone take the axe before! I've never seen anyone take the axe! Oh, yeah, that's right! Use it! That's right, use it on me! Now take that, dumbass! Oh, that's what you get. Watch out for the trap, guys. Do not set it off and hit me with it. Don't you do it. Wait, Animla? I heard you say something. Where are you? You know, 
Not all mages prefer the darker arts. We at the Synod frown upon the use of conjuration in all its forms. But as for Marissa, who knows what goes on in that brain of hers. There's quite a few times in the mod, I, I've mentioned this before, there's quite a few times where I feel like I'm missing some context because sometimes some conversations don't even trigger or don't seem to pop up when they're supposed to. And I've said it before, I'll say it again, it often seems to be more so a thing of just like the way that Skyrim scripting works and the way that the mod's trying to have conversations happen while, you know, oh, a bandit might still be alive and fighting them negates the conversation and stuff like that. Who stepped on the trap? It wasn't me. I didn't feel anything. It's Anim Law. She's the one doing it. I was wondering when you would arrive. You were expecting us? Well, just you. But only because your friend got here first. Her lips aren't moving. My friend? The man from the Synod. The one who tried to kill me. You good there? Now what's all this talk about an Oblivion Gate? I absolutely missed something here. Oblivion Gate? What's she talking about, mage? That's highly confidential. Besides, I'm the only researcher assigned to this task. Oh, please, Latimore. You know better than to lie to me. If you're the only Synod member here, then who is this? Bayake. Julius. Damn witch. I should have known you'd kept such company. A lot of more. It befits you. Julius, what are you doing here? Introductions are in order. You've taken the boy into custody. Why? The higher-ups no longer agree with your assessment. It's too risky. Why is anyone's lips moving for this quest? What are you saying? Are you planning on killing him? Over my dead body. It's too late, Argonian. It's being carried out as we speak. Rest assured the boy will be given a proper funeral. The only funeral we're gonna have is for you and your friends. I swear, on the honor of my company, the child will live. Then go to the mourner's den. My job was to kill Latimore. If I can't do it by blade, then I'll do it by tongue. And the rest of you will wish to throw away your lives, then Synod will welcome your silence. It appears my methods were a little too effective. But you, Latimore, owe us all an explanation. Yeah, I'm a little lost That's here. That's right. What are you hiding? What's this nonsense about an Oblivion Gate? <sighs> I guess there's no point hiding it now. The fire. It wasn't started by the child, or... At least, not directly. They say he conjured a door. A tiny gateway to oblivion. So that's why the Synod wants him dead. Can the boy create these gates at will? No. The boy is innocent. He didn't know what he was doing, or even how he did it. But his actions, running away, burrowing himself in caves, does seem to indicate he has a grasp of its consequences. My fear is that when he realizes the gravity of what he's done, he'll do precisely what Julius and his men want. I doubt that. The boy I knew was a survivor. Yes, the fact that he followed you here. It's a reason to be optimistic. Maybe he finally found the will to live. Or he could just be scared to die. But if what the mage says is true, he won't have much of a choice. I suggest you hurry. The NPC pathing for this quest is all over the place. People walking in circles, people walking into the walls and corners. Oh, the uh, lip sync isn't working. No, you don't have to come. These mages are a part of your company, aren't they? They're your friends. People you know. Yes, people like Julius. The Synod is a very large organization, and given how often I do field work, I barely speak to most of them. Maybe that's the problem. 
Can I talk to you more about it? Why do you think Julius tried to kill you? It's likely he never got approval to kill the child. I don't believe that for a second. But it does explain why I haven't received any correspondence of late. My death would be a convenient way to frame the boy. Is it true you once trained at the College of Whispers? Is that why you hate them so much? You're self-hating? What? Who, who told you that? Was, was, it, was it Marissa? You can't believe anything she says. She's a necromancer. Some of my best friends are necromancers. How does one conjure a door to oblivion? You know, I played the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion and that's uh, not a thing anymore. Right now, all we have are theories. We think it's the same concept as a normal summoning. Only the portal itself is summoned. As to how the boy is able to do this, even if I knew, it wouldn't be something I would divulge. Anim Law? How does the boy's past change things? Before, I didn't really get it. I mean, he was traveling with those refugees, trying to find a place far away from Cyrodiil. When we took that away, he had every reason to hate us. But now I realize he saw our pain. You don't think letting the boy live comes with some risk? I know this archer means a lot to you, but the boy's too dangerous. Honestly, I think opening a gateway to oblivion might be fun. No, 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 no. You don't think it comes with some risk? It doesn't matter. It's not his fault. Whatever doors he opens, we'll just have to close them shut. Look, I don't know if saving this boy is the smart thing, but it's the right thing. And as mortals, that's all we can ever do. Don't worry, no matter what you decide, I'll have your back. Thank you, Traveler. None of this is easy, so it means a lot. Knowing you're on my side. Oh. This is why I like Anim Law. This is why I'm always happy anytime I see her. Can I talk to Marissa more at all? I'm curious. Hi. How do you know Lattimore? He probably didn't tell you, but he was once a talented conjurer. We trained together at the College of Whispers. Of course, both of us ended up leaving the college, albeit for different reasons. He thought they went too far. I thought they didn't go far enough. What do you mean? He wasn't cut out to be a necromancer? Too much respect for the dead. For me, a corpse is a tool. For him, they were still people. And that distinction means everything. Why do you think Julius tried to kill you? He probably knew Latimore would seek my aid, and it's far easier to kill us one at a time. Alright. So we have to go to Mourner's Den? Where is that? Oh, okay. Huh, right near Stendar's Beacon. And, uh, the Vigilance of Stendar didn't notice anything? Didn't, um, question anything at all about... Well, I mean, the boy wouldn't have opened... A portal to oblivion there unless he opens one while we're there so they don't have any reason to be suspicious yet just um just a little ironic given the boy's nature is all you guys ready for this do you hear that no hear what it sounds like chanting Come on. Man, I know my hearing sucks, but damn, your hearing must be really damn good. Find the source of the chanting. I would like to hear the source of the chanting. Are they going to sacrifice him? That seems a little ominous. That seems a little uh, suspicious is all I'm saying. Oh, I don't like it this. It looks like we made it in time. Even better, they haven't noticed us yet. Then we better let them know we're here. We 
Why? We'll lose the element of surprise. And if we don't, we risk losing everything else. Wait, what are you doing? Damn it. Listen up. I'm only gonna say this once. We're taking the boy. Stand aside and you live. Get in our way and you die. I heard don't let no one don't let anybody escape. Couldn't see any subtitles, but I, I heard that much. Hmm, I'm starting to like the College of Whispers more, frankly. I already wasn't the biggest fan of the Synod, frankly, uh, my brief experience with them during the uh, College of Windhold wasn't crazy about them. Felt like they were kind of assholes. And this just kind of solidifies it. Wait, 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 get back here, don't you heal yourself. No. Nice tag team. Well, that takes care of Julius's man. The boy, is he all right? He, he looks fine, just sleeping, probably for the best. You sure about that? So what now? If he's as dangerous as you say, somehow I doubt your friends will give up. No, but if I can train him. Teach him how to control his abilities. It might prevent him from ever conjuring again. Well, what do you think? We came all this way. But I admit, our friend here is probably right. It's best he stay with someone who understands him. <laughs> you decide I don't care what happens to the urchin. Are you sure? I don't trust this mage can keep him safe. We could take him to Honor Hall Orphanage. The boy could stay with you. I want him to stay with the mage. I... He's not my favorite person, but... He can train the boy. You can't. Maybe me saying, are you sure? She'll be like, no, he is safe. Like, reverse psychiatry. Psychology. Let's try that. Well, we could always try Winterhold. It's not the most comfortable of surroundings, but I'm sure it beats living in some cave. I know the Archmage. Come to a decision, Mage. You can teach the boy, but it's best you do it in Winterhold. It's safer that way. Oh, I like that. But they practice conjuration there. It's not the kind of environment that's healthy. Neither is this place. But it's probably where he'll end up otherwise. Face it, the three of us alone won't be enough to protect him. Fine. I'll, I'll take the boy to Winterhold. But you won't mind if I keep his history a secret. I wouldn't expect anything less. Safe travels, kid. Be good to your new guardian. And she's whispering so she Let's doesn't go. wake him. I don't want him to see me when he wakes up. It'll just make things more confusing. Oh, the only thing that could make this more emotional, or emotional if is if he did wake up right now and just said, Anamla. And I'd be like, oh, where did these uh, tears come from? Who put these onions here? If you don't mind, I'd like to stop by the marketplace in Riften. Got one more errand I need to run. You got it. Protect yourself right. Buy armor from Grelka. Jewelry with legendary Argonian craftsmanship. Grelka, did you get the armor I asked for? <gasps> Indeed. Here you go. Should fit you like a glove. Are you gonna change out of the robes? I'm sure it will. <gasps> Thank you. Wow, this might take some getting used to for the both of us. But it's time I stopped mourning. The company, the refugees. That's all in the past now. I just didn't want to do it until I knew the boy was safe. It fits you. You look like a true knight. 
You look shiny but strong. I prefer the old clothes myself. Changing clothes won't help. You can't hide the past like it didn't happen. Helga, get out of here. She's not staying at the bunkhouse. You can't seduce her. She's not for you. It fits you. You look like a true knight. And it's all thanks to you. I may have learned to fight on my own, but being a knight isn't I just about swinging a sword. Whether it was an old company or a good friend, I am what I am because of people like you. So ready to get moving? We ought to test out the new armor of yours. You took the words right out of my mouth. To the next fight, traveler, I swear on the hist, it'll be a good one. Here.